lovely Cancerians, welcome to your reading for January 2021. The first reading for the year, as we wave 2020 farewell. I'm just, I've just been concentrating on your energy. I've brought your energy in and I am creating your spread. This is a general reading for you, Cancer. It's a reading for Cancer, Sun, Rising and Moon sign. Also listen to your Rising sign and Moon sign. Some months they will resonate more for you than your Sun sign will. If this is a general reading. If you would like to book a private reading that is going to be specific to you, then you can follow the link below to my website and you can book that reading from there. I have also posted the 2021 yearly readings, the general yearly readings, if you'd like to have a listen to those. If you'd like your own yearly reading, then you can also go to my website and you can book that reading from there. That is a reading that is a limited time only. It is available till the end of January. So if that's what you would like to have, then make sure you don't miss out. Make sure you book that reading before the offer expires. So I've created this wonderful spread for you, my lovely Cancerians. Let's see what is ahead for you. What is ahead for you? I want to say that you're going to come into January feeling quite um, empowered, quite in control, quite, um, you know, you, you, you're sort of planning the future. I want to say you're planning the future. It's about identifying what you want moving forward, identifying that and planning to, to take that forward, to do that in confidence. So feel really confident about the choices and decisions that you're going to make right from the beginning of January. Um, you know, and some of you may be starting to plan that in, uh, in December, um, but it's like, well, this is what I want. This is what I want to do. It's, I want to say, my lovely Cancerians, it's, you found your, your voice. I want to say you've, that's, that's the word they're giving me here. You've found your voice. It's about, okay, this is it. This is what I want. This is what I want to do. This is the direction I want to move in. This is how I want to see things unfold in 2021 and plan for that and plan for it in great confidence as well, um, my lovely Cancerians. Let's see what is in store for you for January. So look, you know, that, that really, that, that, drive that you have, that conviction that you have in coming into January is going to stand you in really good stead. There is success in the Three of Cups. There's success there around you. There's success around you, but it's also success that you're sharing with others, with someone else or with others, because there's three people there. Not to say that there's going to be three people involved in this success, but it's sharing success with others. So you'll share, it's not a success that you're, you're just do, doing on your own, you've achieved on your own. It's something you're sharing with a group um, but there is success and there's celebration around that um, that progress that decision even it doesn't even need to be something that you've started you, you're doing it's something you're planning on doing and there's this real confidence about it and there's this real success about it let's investigate that a little bit more shall we and um, can you please give me a card for cancerians for cancer what thank you what's going on there here it is and you know it's the Wheel of Fortune. So that success is coming about through um, something you've laid, laid plans you've laid down, thought patterns you've had. It's your turn to shine here. The, the Wheel of Fortune is in your favor. And, you know, as I've said in other readings, other, other zodiac signs have had the wheel as well. The wheel is not circular, it's spiral. It's like a corkscrew. And with every challenge, every lesson that we have, it, if, you, if you learn that lesson and you grow from it, you proceed forward. And so you spiral forward and, and that Wheel of Fortune occurs. It's like a, a, a corkscrew. And that's what's happening here. That's what you have here. Um, and it's going to stand you in, in good stead. So there's opportunities coming here for you. There's opportunities coming in he here for you that um, are going to be successful. It's your turn to shine, my lovely Cancerians. What else do you have for me? What else do you have for me? There's two cards here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yes, you see, abundance is coming to you. Um, the lifestyle that you're planning to have. Um, this, is a, this is planning your lifestyle, planning what you're wanting to bring in, planning what you're wanting your life to look like. Have a vision board, positive affirmations. This is what it calls for, but it's all going to unfold for you because it's going to take you to this 
place of contentment, fulfillment, security, happiness. And if it's, a, if it's emotional plans that you're making, if it's with somebody else, it's on a love basis, it's going to, it will work out for you. It's going to be tremendously positive for you, um, which it's, it's, really, it's got a really nice feel. And that happens for you very early in, um, in 2021, very, very early in January. You're going to start seeing that success unfold um, it, because you've also got the Queen of Cups. Now, this is you. This is masculine or feminine. Um, it's about self-nurturing. It's about nurturing. But look, she's got that guiding light. It's about looking ahead in, for your um, emotional future. If it's a relationship, it's moving ahead in that relationship, seeing the future in that relationship. If it's um, this self-growth planning, it's seeing that whole picture. It's illuminating what was hidden from you in the past, what was not possible for you in the past. It's all being illuminated for you so that this forward movement is there. It's divinely guided as well. It's about nurturing yourself as well as nurturing others. It's about giving to yourself as well as giving to others. So don't forget yourself in this equation as well. But there's this generosity towards the ones you love as well that's coming up here. Um, so you really are standing up for your goals and your dreams. It's also your intuition is very, very strong. So it's about... Um, paying attention to your inspirational thought, paying attention to what your um, gut is telling you, what, what thoughts you, you're receiving, what messages you're receiving, what's coming through in your dreams as well. But what you, you sort of have this deep sense of knowing, trust all of that to come through for you because it's going to be quite successful. You also have the tower and the tower is not an uh-oh, the tower um, situation the tower is simply you are also subconsciously processing things that you've buried processing things that that have been buried that are going to come up to move on it, you have no space in 2021 for things that are not serving you and so they may be thought patterns behaviors attitudes cycles um toxic people, um, things that, you know, objects that you're not needing anymore. Uh, it's, it's moving it on, allowing it to just fall away, allowing it to just fall away naturally too. A lot of these things will just, they will just fall away. There may be people in your life that um, will just sort of slip away. You won't hear from them as often uh, and allow that to happen, have no resistance. But you've reached a point in your subconscious where you want that to happen. There's this clearing out clearing out of blocks, clearing out of what doesn't serve you so that you've got that complete flow, energy flow to move forward so that there is no resistance. So there is no resistance. In what area do we have this? Please, can you tell me for my lovely cancers, what area do we have this change and this clearing out um, for uh, cancer? Can you give me a card that will um, show me what area that is in um, for cancer? There it is. What do we have? Ah, it's the relationship too. What do you need to clarify in the relationship? What do you need to sort of sort through in that relationship to strengthen that relationship? So there might be, you know, if there have been arguments, if there have been uh, disharmony, if, there's, it's, if the relationship hasn't quite worked, and this is only going to be for a specific view. So take from this reading what resonates with you, leave the rest. But there's, this is for some, some of you, that there's been disharmony in the relationship and it's about clearing away that disharmony, clearing away, clearing the air so that you can move forward. Um, it, it, for some of you, it can be this moving on from a toxic relationship as well. Um, there's a moving on from a toxic relationship. It can be a romantic relationship it can be your partnership but it can also be friendships family members it's it, it can take many forms for you but it's on an emotional level that this is clearing away um, there's this clearing away because I want to say they're telling me here you've been beaten down enough it's time to let go it's time to let go and find your true self here that's going to be really important for you how does that manifest in your reality? You know, that cleansing is going to be really important for you to be able to move forward. So how does that um, translate? You've got the Four of Cups here, the Four of Cups. And this is about, um, you know, if you have achieved a lot. And so it's also about, well, what, what is next? 
you're planning something else. There's something else that you're desiring. There's something else that you're thinking about. So don't you're not dwelling on the past, uh, but you've had past achievements and they've been great. But it's about creativity. It's about um, what else is next. What are you dreaming about? You know, this is a water sign. You know, it's cups, and this is about imagination. And so you know, you've you've achieved a lot in what you've been imagining. And so what's next? What's next? What's your next project? What next do you want to achieve? Let's have a look at what next do you want to achieve? Um, a card for Cancer, please, Cancerians. What, what is, what's on the cards? What are, you, what are you dreaming about? What are you dreaming about? What are, your, what, are, what are your dreams? What are your goals? What do you want to achieve? What are you planning? There's something that you're planning. So once you're cleaning out what is blocking your way, what is creating resistance, once you clear that, you are left to be able to imagine, to dream about what you want to create, what you want to manifest next. Um, can I have a card for Cancerians, please? What card can you tell me about this? forward movement these dreams and these goals there we go okay let's have a look let's have a look my cancerians what do you have ah new love there's love here so you know for, for some of you that that clearing the air is going to um, improve your relationship there is further growth oh there's two cards here there's further growth and that's going to happen those changes are going to come in really quickly that was hiding behind that card that's going to happen really quickly so either there's new love coming for you there's new love coming for you once you clear um, the scars or of the past for many of you there's new love that's going to come for you and that's what your dream that's what is in your heart that's what you're wanting if you're desiring if you're wanting a relationship a new relationship it's there it's coming and it will come about really really quickly because there's you know you've got three cards here and so it's there's a new start there's a new beginning so clear away what is no longer needed clear it away let it go let it go anything and memories you know if it's a relationship that 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 ended a while ago or in last year or the year before it's now time to release anything that any resistance there any holding on to there let it go because it's going to open up a new start it's going to open up a new relationship there's a new relationship coming here for you if you are single if you are in a partnership it's about healing and sorting through the problems to create this new start to and, and the potential there is for a new start is for um, you know let's build on that <clears throat> okay so you also have the hangman here coming up in January the hangman and this is asking you to change your perspective so in this relationship um, it's going to be a love relation you know this is a, a this is what's coming through but it, it's about in this relationship do you also need to your, change your perspective you need to change your perspective or you need to change your ways you need to ch change how you're seeing things um, there's some tough decisions to make here also there's some tough decisions but you know if it's a relationship you're wanting to repair then you also need to be flexible you also need to change your perspective walk a mile in your partner's shoes and see things from their perspective so that you can grow so that you can improve the situation but there's also some tough decisions here for you to make some of you are making tough decisions and there's some sort of sacrifice or some sort of difficulty there that it's not huge but you will make it you will make it but it also indicates there's going to be some sort of difficulty in that in that decision for some of you um, for some of you it's about uh, releasing resistance and and um, breaking down those walls don't be stubborn don't be stubborn look at things from a different perspective because it's certainly going to and and you're divinely guided to do that you are divine look at the crow with the message you get messages from the divine from your guides follow your intuition follow your instinct um, in, in dealing with that situation as well my lovely Cancerians you've also got the Queen of Wands the Queen of Wands this is ma masculine or fem masculine or feminine Aries Leo Sagittarius person that is around you um, that is um, playing a very big part in in uh, in January for you uh, very determined very uh, strong very uh, protective of their people and their, their ideas um, 
a really good head for business. So they're going to be very, very good for you because it's going to give you that strength that you're seeking, that, that strength that you're seeking. For some of you, this is actually the energy that's coming in for you in forward movement. It's about new plans and ideas that you have. Play your cards close to your chest. Don't talk to too many people about it. Don't spread your ideas around. Um, keep them to yourself. Be protective of your ideas. Be protective of your plans. Be protective of the people that you love that are around you. So there's this real need to to be protective of them. Uh, it's a it's a it's this sort of lioness energy that comes into their you know with their cubs. You know it's this protective energy that's coming in, and it can be masculine or feminine here, but it's it's an energy of confidence as well so you sort of find this real confidence my lovely cancerian there's a real confidence here you also have the star and it's about wishing upon a star but the star is also asking you they're up high in the sky and it's asking you to also again change your perspective look at things from different perspectives you know it doesn't mean you have to change your mind but but before making a decision look at it from every angle look at it from all perspectives and that's in dealing with other people in resolving issues in um, laying down new plans and goals look at it from every possible angle and be be in harmony with yourself be at peace with yourself don't do this in anger it's really about finding that inner calm that inner peace as well I'm also being told thank you I'm also being told that the um, Jupiter-Saturn conjunction in December 21st that has happened is going to have an impact on you. So have a look at what, what house on your natal chart that is um, and, and, and understand that, that it's in, the, in, in Aquarius, it's the age of Aquarius. So where, where, what house is that in for you? And have a look at what significance that means, what changes that's bringing in because it's changes that we're going to experience for a number of years coming up but this is the card of justice too you know it's it's a justice and you know if you look at the star as the water bearer you know Aquarius that's going to have an impact um, so it's going to have quite a significant it's going to play quite a significant role in you in your um, month in your in your years ahead so have a look at that and see what significance it is for you because it's going to be different for all of you then you have the king of wands so you've got the Queen of Wands and you've got the King of Wands, masculine or feminine, and that energy is still coming through. And it's going to it's speaking to you of don't fight the energy, don't fight that confidence, don't allow other people to persuade you to behave differently or make different decisions. It's about remaining strong in the choices and decisions that you're going to make, and know that the 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 life purpose that you're pursuing the ideas and the plans that you're pursuing are going to stand you in good stead they are going to eventuate they are going to flourish they are going to come about so be strong in in what you want to bring forward into your reality uh, because the wands is about passion about creativity about life's purpose about joy about happiness and about things happening quickly and with determination with real determination and fight put that fire in your belly my lovely cancerians right let's have a look at the final card the final card here you've got the nine of swords and so by the end of um end of january you know this is uh, what do i want to say sleepless nights messages coming to you at night astral traveling at night but also don't overthink things. Don't allow anxiety to take hold um, in your moving forward. So, it, you know, towards the end of January, all of a sudden it's like the wind the wind is out comes out of your sail it's something something happens that that shatters your confidence or or affects your confidence in forward movement don't overthink it don't you know you might need to talk to someone about it um see what's going on um because there's some sort of disappointment that's coming up for you. Um, I don't feel like it's a big thing, so don't overplay it. Don't overplay it. You know, you've got the justice card, and the justice card speaks of there's going to be a fair outcome or a fair result. So whatever's going to happen here in the at the end of January, understand that there's going to be a fair result. There's a fairness. There's a good outcome that comes from this. So don't waste a lot of en like, don't waste your energy worrying about things that may never eventuate, crossing bridges that you may never have to cross. You know, it will 
creating bridges that you may never have to cross. Don't worry about um, that. So don't allow it to really um, take the wind out of your sail and and slow things down for you. What other? What else do you want to say? What other advice can you give cancer, Cancerians about um, this this worry? This what is what is that? You know, is it something that they are creating, or is it is it something that is justified? It's something that is justified. Um, I want, I'm hearing that if there's any blocks, if there's any slowdown in the energy that's a, that's there for you in um, in January, don't worry too much about it because it, that's where it's meant to be. And there's justice, there's a fairness about it. You've got the King of Swords, and that's a strength here. That's a strength here. There's something on a global level. Look at this little gremlin here. There's something that you're doing on a global level. There's something that's slowing you down globally. Well, you know, that's to be expected in these times, isn't it? But it's about the King of Swords having the confidence. Kings know what they want and and they're going to create it. And I feel like there's that real king energy, that real emperor strength, uh, that real determination, knowing that what you want to achieve is going to eventuate. So be confident, be strong, don't create resistance um, and, and know that what you're wanting to create will come about, will happen for you. No resistance my lovely Cancerians. I'm going to give you a card from the Goddess, Goddess um, Guidance Oracle deck. What card do you have for me for, for the Cancer, cancer um, that is going to help them on their journey? Here we go. So let's have a look. Damara, Guiding Children. Guiding Children. That's interesting, isn't it? Guiding Children. Let's see what it says. You are good at helping, counselling and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. Hmm, that's an interesting message, isn't it? It's, a, it's, it's also to me what I'm hearing is it's like tapping into your childlike energy, helping others, but tapping into that childlike energy and innocence and, and moving forward, keeping it a clean energy children live in the now and that's the message here for you living in the now not not racing ahead and trying to solve situations that may never eventuate so it's really important to be childlike um, and there's also I want to say a, a healing of the inner child there's a healing of the inner child with you as well so it's that a lot to do with that childlike energy that's coming in around you what do you have for um, angels of abundance let's see what you, what do you have for my lovely Cancerians here? What message? What message do you have? No more complaining. Let's read it. No more complaining about what you don't have and what's not working. Let's see what it says. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spiritually. Take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choice and freedom. Oh, and that's really what's coming through here for you in January. <clears throat> With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. Well, that sums up your reading so well for January. It's you coming into your own, you stepping into your own and doing what you want to do, uh, achieving your goals and your dreams. That is so pointed, so accurate for January for you. And live in the now, be childlike. Because there's healing that in healing that inner child as well. Many, many blessings to you, my lovely Cancerians. I wish you a happy, joyous, prosperous, and exciting January 2021. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there. You can also book a private or personal yearly 2021 reading. If you want to book a yearly reading, then make sure you do that before the end of January because that's a limited time offer only. Blessings to you, my lovely Cancerians.